Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the topic related with our surveying in the topic of leveling. So particularly using rise and fall method. Before entering into the topic, so we have to know what is meant by RL, what is meant by BM, BS, IS and FS. Okay, so first thing is reduced level. So reduced level is the level of the particular point compared to the benchmark. Okay, so that is BM. Okay, so how much uh, for example uh, compared to benchmark so there is a positive value or negative value okay for a take uh, benchmark as uh, 500 it may be uh, 450 or 550 okay likewise so the in a particular point what is the level so that is called order so then benchmark so benchmark is a reference point so we need some particular reference point uh, to compare uh, all the points and uh, to find out the levels of the particular points so that's why uh, we made in some benchmark over here so that is called benchmark so then next one is uh, bs that is backside So back side, uh, so this is the first reading after setting the instrument. So this taken is known point that is called benchmark. Okay. So second thing is uh, intermediate side. So these are all the points between uh, back side and fore side. Okay. So then yeah, first that is fore side. So this is the last reading point after setting the instrument. So after the uh, foresight point, we can shift the instrument or we complete the leveling process. Okay. So these are all the uh, basic terms we have to know before entering the rise and fall method. So okay, rise and fall method. So how we can we find out the rise and fall? So there is a uh, first thing. So we have to uh, identify the rise or fall. So rise is a positive value and fall is a negative value. So now rise and fall we can find out uh, BS minus IS or IS minus FS. Okay, so that is uh, back side minus intermediate side or intermediate side minus fore side. Okay, so for example, if BS minus FS value is positive, okay, this will be rise. So if case uh, BS minus FS value is negative, that will be fall. Okay. So next thing is new. We have to find out the new RL. So new RL value is uh, first old RL minus fall or old RL plus rise. Okay, so from the relationship we can find out the reduced level in the particular point. Okay, so in which and every point we can uh, we have to know the reduced level. After that we can find out the what is the level in the particular point. Okay, compared to the benchmark. Okay, here all the levels in the particular points is uh, only based on the benchmark. Okay, so next thing is uh, arithmetic check. So how can we check this uh, this process is correct or not? So we can check uh, summation of back side minus summation of fourth side equal to summation of rise minus summation of fall equal to last RL minus first RL. Okay. So from the relationship we can check uh, this process is correct or not. Okay. So uh, we go into some uh, so we are going to see some problem, uh, example problem, so we can clearly understand. So how can we uh, determine the rise and fall and the new order, okay? So this is a problem, the following reading was observed successively with the leveling instrument. The instrument was shifted after the 5th point and the 11th point, okay? So after the uh, reading of 5th point, we can shift the instrument and after the 11th point, we can uh, shift the instruments, okay? So the readings are 0 0.485, 1.210, 1.635, then 3.395. So 3.775. So these are all the values from the uh, we uh, get from the leveling star. Okay. So determine the RL of the various points and show the entries in the level book. RL first point is 100 meter. 
okay so we already know so the benchmark so the benchmark will be 100 over here so in this problem we can take 100 as the benchmark okay so now uh, we are going to uh, list out all the values over here so first thing is uh, back side so we know the back side is the first point so after setting the instrument okay so another thing is uh, everything is uh, intermediate side so the last point is uh, entered in four side okay so again we go for back side so the intermediate side is 1.210 then 1.635 so then 3.395 okay after the fifth reading we can shift the instrument so we can last reading we can uh, put in fs so that is four side okay so that is 3.775 okay so next thing is after the setting the instrument uh, after shifting the instrument we can take the first point as a back side okay so now we can take six point as six, 0 0.650 okay then seventh point we can enter into uh, intermediate side 400 then 1.795 then ninth point is uh, 2.575 then 10th point is 3.375 so after the 11th reading we can shift the instrument so that's why we can put uh, next to 11th point as a 4 side okay so now we can take 11th point as 3.895 after the 11th point that will be the back side 1.735 so next thing is 0 0.635 so next thing is 1.605 okay so So now the RL value is uh, 100 because the first value so we can take uh, the RL of the first point is 100 okay. So now here is 100 so now we are going to find out the rise or fall. So now the 0 0.485 minus 1.210 that is that will be a negative because the first point is elevated uh, compared to the second point. So now the fall is uh, 1.210 minus 0 0.485 that will be 0 0.725 okay likewise 1 point sorry 1.635 minus 1.210 that will be the answer 0 0.425 so next thing is 1.635 minus 3.395 that will be also fall 1.76 next thing is 3.395 minus 3.7 Seven five the negative again negative values that is uh, zero point three eight this is also fault. Next thing is zero point six five zero minus one point four zero that will be a, again negative zero point seven five. So next thing is one point four minus one point seven nine five. So that's also one of the negative points. So that is zero point three nine five. Next thing is one point seven nine five minus two point five seven five the value will be 0 0.78 okay next thing is 2.575 minus 3.375 that will be 0 0.80 3.375 minus 3.895 so that will be 0 0.80 so next thing is 1.735 minus 0 0.85 635 so that will be the positive value so the that will be indicated in the rise okay 1.10 okay again 0 0.635 minus 1.605 so again this is a negative value so that is uh, come under for 0 0.97 okay so now we can find out 100 minus 0 0.725 100 minus 0 0.725 that is value will be 99.275 so next thing is 0 0.425 so that will be 98.850 so because 99.275 minus 0 0.425 okay again 98.850 minus 1.76 that will be 97.09 likewise we can uh, calculate all those things 
the values will be 96.71 then 96.71 minus 0.75 that will value will be 95.96 next thing is 95.565 so next thing is 94.785 so next thing is 93.985 so next thing is uh, 93.465 so next thing is 94.565 because it will be adding so next thing is 93.595 okay so from that we can uh, calculate all the so some from that we can add all the columns so now summation of b s equal to 2.87 so then summation of is so this value will be 16.02 then summation of fs value summation of fs equal to 9.275 so then rice summation of rice equal to 1.10 then summation of fall equal to 7.505 okay so now uh, we are going to check the arithmetic check we know the arithmetic check b s equal to sorry b s minus summation of f s equal to summation of rise minus summation of fall okay so now b s minus f s so the b s value is 2.87 minus f s value is 9.275 okay equal to rise is 1.10 minus fall is uh, fall value is 7.505 okay so now solving this we got the value of minus 6.405 equal to minus 6.405 okay so the check will be completed again uh, next thing is automatic check is uh, that is lost rl minus first rl okay so last rl value is 93.595 minus the first rl value is 100 so solving this we got the value of 6.405 okay so all the answers are same so these are all the rl values these are all the level values for the corresponding elevated points okay so this is a method we can solve the rise and fall problem again we will see next video thank you